Hello students today we shall discuss the poem Father and Son So this poem is written by the author Yusuf Islam commonly known by his stage name Cat Stevens and later Yusuf is a British singer songwriter and a multi instrumentalist He was born on 21st July 1948 at London He published the poem Father and Son in the year 1970 So we shall read the poem first Father and Son It's not the it's not time to make a change just relax relax take it easy you're still young that's your fault there is so much you have to know find a girl settle down if you want you can marry look at me i'm old but i'm happy i was once like you are now and i know that it's not easy to be calm when you have found something going on but take your time think a lot Why think of everything you have got? For you will always still be here tomorrow, but your dreams may not. How can I try to explain the cause when I do? It it hurt. It turns away again. How can I try to explain the cause when I do? It turns away again. It's always been the same, same old story. From a moment I could talk, I was ordered to listen. now there is a way and i know that i have to go away i know i have to go it's not time to make a change just sit down take it slowly there is so much you have to go through find a girl settle down if you want you can marry look at me i'm old but i'm happy all the time that i cried keeping all the things i knew inside it's hard it's harder to ignore it if they were right i'd agree but it's time they know not me now there is a way i know and i know that i have to go away i have to go a father always plays an essential role in a son's life and can teach his son valuable life lessons the, the day a child is born everything changes in a man's life his world will be filled with thoughts dreams and hopes for his child for the son his dad is a superhero as he grows he will find a guide bodyguard and a best friend in his dad the son inspires the father to be a better person and the father inspires the son to grow up into a responsible individual father is giving advice his to, to his son that he is too young to take any decision in his life father who has several years of experience know what is good for his son and what is bad for him Father tells his son to marry and settle in his life. Father is expecting his son to be like him. Father is also suggesting his son to think several times before taking any decision in his life because one wrong choice in his life may ruin his beautiful life. The father is advising his son to walk in the right path. The son is in a state of confusion whether to accept the suggestion which is given by his father or to follow his own dream. The son thinks that his father is not giving him a chance to express his ideas, feelings and emotions. The son on the other hand thinks that he is mature enough to take decisions in his life. The son also thinks that he should not depend on his father. The son decides to go in search of a job, but his father did not allow him to go in search of job, thinking that people may cheat him or the son himself may ruin his life. Both father and son has different view point about life. Father doesn't want his son to be in a trouble. The son thinks that his father is restricting him and he is not in a condition to listen to the words of his father. Here is a letter which is written by Abraham Lincoln to his son's teacher. He will have to learn, I know that all men are just, all men are not true, but teach him that for every scoundrel there is a hero that for every selfish politician there is a dedicated leader teach him that for every enemy there is a friend it will take time i know but teach him if you can that a dollar earned is far more value than five pot teach him to learn to lose and also to enjoy winning steer him away from envy if you can teach him the secret of quiet laughter let him learn early that the bullies are the easiest to lick teach him if you can the wonder of books but also give him quite time to ponder the eternal mystery of birds and the sky bees in the sun and flowers 
on a green hillside. In school, teach him it is far more honorable to fail than to cheat. Teach him to have faith in his own ideas, even if everyone tells him they are wrong. Teach him to be gentle with gentle people and tough with the tough. Try to give my son the strength not to follow the crowd when everyone is getting on the bandwagon. Students, I'd like to narrate a story about a father and son. There was a there was a son. There was a boy named Ra. He was very lazy, so his father decided him to teach a lesson. One day, the father called his son and told that today, from today onwards, he will not give him supper. He has to go out and he has to struggle and he has to work work hard and he has to bring a coin. So the son was frustrated and tense, and he went near his mother and he asked for one rupee coin. So his mother gave him one rupee coin, and in the same night when his father comes, the son will give one rupee coin, which was uh, which was given by his mother. The father tells the son to drop the coin inside the well. The son immediately goes near the well and he drops the coin inside the well. Inside the well. Next morning, father calls him and tells him to uh, bring one rupee coin. The son goes near his sister and asks for one rupee coin with her. And the sister gives her one rupee coin. Same night, the father comes and the son will give him one rupee coin. Again, the father will instruct the boy to throw the coin inside the well. The son immediately drops the coin inside the well. Father comes to know that this coin was given by his wife and his daughter and sends his wife and daughter to his relatives to his relatives house. The son had did not had any option and he goes out to work and struggles a lot and brings one rupee coin. The same night the son comes near the father and gives one rupee coin to him and uh, the father repeats the son to uh, throw the coin inside the well. But the son shouted, why should I throw the hard-earned coin inside the well? The, fa the father realized that this coin is his hard-earned money. So the father should always be responsible and he should try to change the behavior of the child. To conclude, so every father will, love, will, have, will show love and concern to the father, uh, will show love and concern towards to conclude, every in every family, father loves and shows concern towards his son, and also son loves his father. The, uh, the father has some fears towards the growth of his child, so he always gives suggestions: don't do that, don't do this. That is for the good of the child. That is for the well-being of the child. The child should think that it is good. It is for his good, and he should take the suggestion from his father and he should walk in a right path. Thank you.